Class number four, important ratios. As much as credit unions love acronyms, they love ratios even more. In this class, we'll review some key ratios you can use as indicators of your performance and which way your trends are moving. So the ROA, or return on assets, of the credit union is the total income divided by the assets of the credit union. It's used to determine how effective the credit union is at earning on its assets. Once the credit union files its 5300 or quarterly call report, the NCUA utilizes those numbers to compile them into a set of ratios to determine the credit union's health. That set of ratios is generally put on what is called a financial performance report or FPR. When a board member is reviewing the health of a credit union's loan portfolio, a critical ratio to review is the delinquency ratio, which is calculated by taking total delinquent loans and dividing it by the total loan portfolio. The loan to share ratio is calculated by taking the total loans issued divided by the total number of shares in the credit union. The intent of the ratio is to show how effectively the credit union is using the shares on deposit to be turned into loans, a higher yielding asset. The difference between what credit unions pay members on their savings and deposits and what they earn on loans and investments is considered the net interest margin and is the contributing factor to credit unions' earnings. When reviewing the FPR ratios, two of the critical ratios that should be evaluated relative to the asset quality of the credit union are delinquent loans to net worth and classified assets to net worth. The best way for a board member to evaluate the ratios of a credit union is not to take it at a static point in time, but rather to look at them over a trending period, over a period of years, to evaluate them against a peer group, or to actually evaluate them against the NCUA parameters as found on the NCUA website. The members to employee ratio determines whether or not your credit union is operating efficiently. Peer-to-peer -peer review is an excellent way to determine whether or not your credit union has the right number of employees to serve your members. The return on asset ratio describes the credit union's net income divided by total assets for the period. The standard set of ratios used by the NCUA is called a Financial Performance Report, or FPR. The health of a loan portfolio is measured by its ratio of delinquent loans. The loan to share ratio shows the degree to which member deposits have been loaned to members. The ratio, which describes how much the credit union makes on the spread between the yield on earning assets and the cost of funds, is the net interest margin to average assets. Ratios that describe asset quality are classified assets to net worth and total delinquent loans to net worth. The best way for a board director to determine if the credit union's ratios are good or bad is to trend them over time, compare them to the peer group, and review the FPR ratio analysis from the NCUA site, which compares the credit union to a group of peers. The members per employee ratio can be used to determine the credit union's productivity. Time to take the test. Good luck.